Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians at Cleveland Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Jack Morris, whose record is 3-4 with a 3.94 ERA. And pitching for the Indians today is John Denny, whose record is 6-10 with a 4.60 ERA. Okay, we got a late game today. I got to be completely honest. I had the worst hangover I think I've had in like 20 years this morning. I've had no energy up until now to uh, put a game together for today, but better late than never. Uh, we are in the third game of the series versus the Indians after winning the first two. Uh, yesterday's game uh, was a nice victory for the Tigers as uh, we ended up uh, hanging on just to get the victory, 3-2. Uh, to two. And so we're going to move on and uh, get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, earlier today, uh, I had a uh, comment from Freddie who was curious uh, if we were going to have a 1985 season for this sim. And... <clears throat> I, I, although it's difficult for me to commit to one more year after this season, uh, if we win the World Series, uh, which was always my intention, then there will not be a 1985 season. However, if we do not win it all, then uh, I predict that I will come back and play a 1985 season for this sim. Uh, of course, we will keep going with the 1969 Seattle Pilots what if scenario uh, that season will continue uh, well it'll be the 1970 season and that will continue at the end of this uh, uh, sim season here and then we do have the 1981 Detroit Lions alternate history uh, which will pick up right around the same time uh, as the actual football season gets started so just a couple things to look forward to um, if I do not bring back the 1984 Tigers and play the 85 season, I've actually got something in the works already. Uh, another type of a what-if scenario uh, that I think would be a lot of fun to try. So um, let's go ahead and see what we got going today. Uh, Jack Morris coming off a complete game loss in his first uh, start after the um, the all-star break and all the bullpen is available today also the good news is all of our batters are still listed as healthy none of them are tired we are going to give Rob Wilfong the day off as you can see his uh, rating has dropped all the way down to 68 and he's been in a minor slump as of late as well so Doug Baker will get the start at second base his second start at second base this year. Otherwise, everybody else uh, is the status quo. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for today's ball game. Batting leadoff, playing center field is Willie Wilson. Batting second at third base is George Brett. Batting third in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting cleanup and DHing is Kenny Smith. Batting fifth and catching is Terry Kennedy. Batting sixth in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting seventh at first base is Greg Brock. Batting eighth at shortstop is Alan Trammell. And batting ninth is today's second baseman, Doug Baker. Okay, John Denny on the mound. Of course, uh, in real life, he's coming off his uh, Cy Young season uh, in which he was uh, on the Phillies. Uh, this year, of course, he's still on the Indians. Uh, making his 21st start, he's 6-10 with a 4.60 ERA, more walks and strikeouts. 67 Ks and 141 in his pitch. Opponents are batting 278 against him. Two complete games. Uh, his fastball, I mean, doesn't really exist. It tops out at 86 miles an hour, and yet that is still his best pitch in his arsenal. And the only pitch above league average. Overall rated at 84, he is a 31-year-old right-hander making a million dollars and doesn't go to free agency until 1986. 
Let's take a look at his log. I don't see any Tigers starts on here. He is coming off a loss against the Twins where he went five and two third innings. He walked seven and did not strike anyone out. Wow, that is ineptitude right there. Let's take a look at the defense for the Indians. What do we got here? Same lineup as uh, yesterday's game. We are not getting getting a chance to see um, the Bandalorian, Chris Bando, behind the plate this series. It's Mike Stanley uh, for the third game in a row. And Willie Wilson leading off versus John Denny. Wilson's got his average up to 326. Had a couple hits yesterday. Popping it up here for out number one as the first baseman, Pagel, makes the catch. One down, here's George Brett. George ha has a couple home runs in his career off of John Denny. It's a frozen rope in the center field, but Von Hayes makes the grab. Two quick outs for Kirk Gibson. Gibby had the golden sombrero yesterday, and he starts out by striking out this guy is, we got to take a look before we take a look at the uh, the Indians here. What is going on with Gibson? He's got 63 strikeouts on the year now. Looking at his log. Oh, that golden sombrero was two games ago. Yesterday he struck out twice. And then he struck out here at his first at bat. So, um, But he did get a hit in both games. Very interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Cleveland Indians. Batting leadoff, playing shortstop is Tony Fernandez. Batting second at first base is Carl Pagel. Batting third and DHing is Eric Fox. Batting fifth in right field is Corey Snyder. Batting fifth at third base is Steve Springer. Batting sixth and catching is Mike Stanley. Batting seventh in center field is Vaughn Hayes. Batting eighth in left field is Thomas Howard. And batting ninth is the second baseman, Juan Bonilla. Okay, take a look here at Jack Morris. Coming off his second complete game of the season. Making his 14th start. He's been injured in two different uh, uh, segments of the season. So he's only making his 14th start of the year, 3-4, with a 394 ERA. 81 strikeouts and 89 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 245 against him. Uh, as I mentioned, two complete games. He also has a shutout this year. His fastball tops out at 94 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44.1%. Taking a look at his pitch arsenal, he's got a splitter rated at 92 and a fastball rated at 87. It looks like his overall rating has jumped up to an 84. I believe it was at 83 after his last start. The 29-year-old righty is a free agent at the end of the year. And um, we just might have to force ourselves to lose him uh, in free agency because I don't think we're going to be able to re-sign him. There's his log. You'll see his complete game there. That was against Milwaukee. Uh, he did not give up an earned run. Oh, no. So that probably means he's going to give up a ton of runs today. Let's take a look at our defense. Solid everywhere you look. We got Baker at second, don't forget. And behind the plate is our catcher, Terry Kennedy. Leading off, Tony Fernandez. Fernandez is batting 105. Sends his call up, and he goes into left field for a base hit to start the ball game for the Indians. So Fernandez on first. He's got good speed. Could be going. 0-2 count to Pagel. And Morris strikes out Pagel for out number one. One down. Here's Eric Fox. Fox, another rookie on this squad. Batting 283, seven home runs. Pops it up into foul ground for out number two. That will bring up Corey Snyder. Trying to get a two-out rally going. And he does. He blows it right past Brett into the corner. Fernandez was running on the play, so he's safe at third. And Snyder 
is held to a single. So first and third, two down. Steve Springer's up. I guess we'll play regular depth, of course. And a ground ball to Brett. This one he can handle. Is out number three. We're going to the top of the second. No score. Kenny Smith leading off versus John Denny. Full count. Smith showing some patience, waiting for that curveball, and smacks it into center field for the first Tigers hit of the day. Smith on first. Let's try a little hit and run with Terry Kennedy. Good job, ground ball to third. At the very least, it gets Smith in the scoring position. This is where we've really struggled. We are just not driving runners in uh, when they're in scoring position. Wilson, the ground ball to second, moves Smith over to third. And it will be up to the Brock Ness Monster to drive in that run. Brock has been roughed up lately, playing 263. And there's a base hit into right field. So the Tigers get on the board, 1-0 on the RBI single from Greg Brock. So good job by him. Brock on first, two down. Here's Alan Trammell. And Trammell goes deep, a wall scraper. It says 410 feet. But that looked like it barely got over the fence. A two-run shot for Trammell, his eighth of the year. And it's 3 nothing Detroit. Two down for Doug Baker. And Baker blasted into center field. Vaughn Hayes will track it down, though, for out number three. So we put three runs on the board. Thanks to the RBI single from Brock and the two-run home run by Trammell. We head to the bottom of the second with Mike Stanley leading off. Stanley takes strike three looking. Second K for Morris. I feel like this is a different Morris, right? He, he had the uh, complete game in his last start, and he's firing BBs so far today. J Von Hayes hits a ground ball to third, and an error by Brett. So Brett's error total is starting to climb again. He got up to a 930 fielding percentage, and uh, then he's made a couple of errors in the last two games. Runner on first. Here's Thomas Howard. Uh, I mean, I, I can foresee Jack Morris giving up a couple unearned runs here. Thomas Howard popping it up on the infield. I feel more comfortable if Trammell makes the call. He does. Makes the call, makes the catch. Two down. Juan Bonilla. I, I, don't, I just never understand how the game determines where to put a batter. I mean, Bonilla is a light hitting second baseman, but he's proven that he gets on base. He should be at the top of the lineup. Bonilla popping it up into foul ground and Morris will get out of this one. So Brett's error goes by the wayside. We go to the top of the third and Wilson, Willie Wilson leading off. Wilson is six for 12 in his career versus John Denny. Hot shot to first. Play made by the first baseman, Peggle. One out. Brett. Ground ball to his third base counterpart for out number two. And Gibby. First pitch swinging. Jammed inside. Hey, at least it wasn't a strikeout. We are going to the bottom of the third. Tony Fernandez leading off. Fernandez started the game off with a base hit, and here he grounds it to Brock. One down, Carl Pagel up, and Pagel's going to gap it. That should be a guaranteed double. It is. Pagel holding it second. That's only his ninth double of the year. And the Indians have a runner in scoring position. I think for the first time today, no? No, first and third they had in the uh, first inning. 
Okay, so Pagel's on second. There's Eric Fox. And there's a base hit. Pagel will score. And it's 3-1 to one Detroit as the Indians are on the board. Fox, 95 speed. That's elite level. Will he be going? Down two runs with Corey Snyder up. Fox was holding as... Whoa, come on. Snyder flies out to center field and Fox is going to tag. That's lame. Two down. Let's see if Steve Springer could drive him in. Springer band 230, 11 home runs. There's a ground ball to second and Baker makes the plate. Indians are on the board. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Kenny Smith leading off. Smith had a single. First time up. And a bleeder into center field. Just past the glove of Fernandez. So Smith is two for two today. Um, we hit and run the first time. It didn't work. We're going to try, try it again here. There we go. Base hit into center field for Kennedy. Smith goes to third. It's first and third. Nobody out. We're going to go on contact. Glenn Wilson 0 for 1 today. Oh, a wild pitch. So they take away the RBI from us. I hate this game sometimes. And then there'll be three consecutive outs here. Wilson. Here's Brock. All to the left side so he can't advance. Travel will probably strike out, I'm guessing. No, 1 0 count. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing more predictable in this game than when you score a run, the next three guys are out. Guaranteed. Lock it in. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Tigers get that run back. Mike Stanley leading off with a line drive to travel it short. One out. Von Hayes shoots it to left center where Gibby makes the catch. Two quick ones for Morris and an infield single from Thomas Howard. I thought Morris might have a clean inning, but Howard singles to short. I can't imagine he would be running. There's Juan Bonilla. And Bonilla, a looper into left. Caught by Gibson. We're moving on to the fifth inning. Morris looking pretty good. Doug Baker leading off the fifth. Strikes out looking. Second K for John Denny. Having a much better performance in the seven walk outings last time. Oh, well, <laughs> and then I say that, and then Wilson walks. So it's only the fifth inning. We will be going here. Wilson's been running wild on Stanley. He's got three stolen bases in this series. And naturally, he gets thrown out on an 84-mile-an-hour fastball. This game blows. Absolute garbage. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Well, let's see if that changes the momentum. Sometimes when you get out of the base path, the next thing you know, you're getting, yeah, you're going to get force-fed a bunch of hits here. So let's just get it over with. Fernandez steals second. Hagel does strike out. Third K for Morris. Fox strikes out. Morris one pitch away from getting out of this inning. Um, that was, by the way, that was Tony Fernandez's first career stolen base. 1-0 count to Snyder. 
And a ground ball to Trammell. We're moving on to the sixth. John Denny's only at 76 pitches. Gibson, Smith, and Kennedy, the heart of the lineup coming up. There we go. Gibson goes down and gets that one. Shoots it into left field. Only a 30% chance. We're going to say no. Ken Smith is two for two today. We have to let him take a cut. We can't risk. I mean, we could risk Gibson trying to steal second, but Smith is hot today. And he'll take a walk. So Gibson gets to second. And Smith is on first. There's nobody out. Terry Kennedy up. He's one for two today. Oh, let's go around the horn. Double play. And Wilson flies out, of course. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. Morris at 66 pitches. He's humming along. Springer leading off with a ground ball to Baker. One out. And Stanley gets a triple. That makes total sense, right? His first career triple. We'll just leave the infield back. We'll give up that run. Von Hayes with a fly ball to right. Stanley is thrown out at home by Wilson. Oh, man. So uh, he can make a triple into the gap, but Wilson can throw him out 329 feet away. Great job by Wilson. He's having a terrible year offensively, but he is dynamite in the field. Greg Brock leads off the seventh with a base hit. I didn't notice. Is that his second hit today? It is. He's two for three with a ribby. Trammell will hit and run. Stay out of the double play. Ground ball to second. Brock advances. How much you want to bet Brock gets stranded at second base? Oh, gosh, I'm really not. I'm off my game today. It's got to be the alcohol poisoning. <laughs> my brain is sloshing around in a bunch of maker's mark right now. So Baker gets a hit into left field. It's first and third, one out. And they're going to pull John Deddy and bring in another rookie. It's Rich Thompson. His 29th appearance this year. He's 1-1 one one with a 293 ERA. 31 strikeouts and 46 innings pitched. The points are betting 291. Uh, let's see. Fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is around 50%. The slider is his best pitch. It's rated in 84. Overall, he's rated in 83. The 25-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 86 season. Okay, now we've got our best hit and run guy, so we have to hit and run in this situation. 1 0 count and a base hit up the middle. Brock scores. Baker goes to third on the error by Von Hayes. Well, let's keep the hit and run going. George Brett incapable of driving in runs. Hey, there we go. A double steal. That's right. A double steal. Baker steals home. Wilson steals second. And it's 6-1. to one. So now we don't have to hit a run. And naturally, Brett will pop it up. So does Gibby. We get two runs. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Six to one, Detroit. Morris is only at 77 pitches. He's got to give up some junk runs. Thomas Howard leads off with a ground ball to second. 
One out. Here's Juan Badia. He's 0 for 2 today. There we go. There's a base. That could be a double. Nope. Badia's going to be held at first. I guess you're down five runs. There's no point in getting tossed out at second. Tony Fernandez. He's 2 for 3 today. He has a stolen base. Striking out, swinging. 5Ks for Morris. You have to admit, Morris looks like a totally different pitcher. Uh, now that he's come back from his injuries. Maybe first time healthy all year. And Pagel will pop it up on the infield. Carry to the outfield grass. Baker makes a catch in shallow right field. We're moving on to the eighth inning. Kenny Smith leading off. Smith two for two with a walk today. And a base hit to right field. Ten hits for the Tigers. Okay, we don't need to hit and run now. We just have to take our chances. This could be a double play. Yep. Kennedy is going to beat it out, actually. Runner on first. Glenn Wilson walks. I think because he's not hitting any, you know, as much, the game is giving him so many walks this year. He's basically equaled his walk total from last year in 140 fewer at-bats. High fly ball to center field from Brock. Kennedy should tag and go to third. And he's out. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Eric Fox leading off. Line drive to first. Brock drops it. Okay, here comes the runs. And a balk. It wouldn't be baseball mogul if you didn't have a balk every game. A comebacker to Morris. Will this be an error? No. He checks the runner. Why would like why would he even care? You're up five runs. Like that runner should be at third base. Morris would not have cared about Fox. He would have just got the out. Five outs to go. It doesn't make sense. Ooh, Morris striking out. Springer. Six K's for J Mo. And Stanley jammed inside. Morris with two outs, probably checked the runner. We go to the top of the ninth inning. It's Trammell, Baker, and Wilson. Trammell, ground ball to second. It's going to be a tough call for player of the game because Trammell had the two-run home run earlier, but Smith has been on base all four times. Baker lines out to left. And we're down to Willie Wilson here. One for three today with a ribby. Oh, give him another hit. We're up five runs in the ninth. He's not going to be stealing. And Brett takes another offer, man. That's... I mean, he's in a huge slump, and he's not even tired. Look at his log. He's batting 273 in his last 20 games, not including the offer today. And really, over that period, he's basically has about the same batting average. All right, Von Hayes. I mean, I think we got to let Morris close this game out. It's the bottom third of the lineup. Every jam that he's gotten into, he's managed to find a way out of it. Von Hayes flies out to center. One out. Here's Thomas Howard. Howard strikes out. Seven Ks for Morris. The final batter, fingers crossed, is Juan Bonilla. And he pops it up. Jack Morris is going to throw back-to-back -back complete games. That's pretty remarkable. Tigers win 6-1. to one.
handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy steaks, and all the box you can eat. Uh, no trade offers. Is the game even trying to make trades? Let's take a look at the standings. There's your American League standings. Yeah, naturally, Boston will just keep winning no matter what. In fact, everybody wins. Everybody loses. Oakland is one and a half up on Seattle. Take a look at the National League. Mets have lost five in a row. Dodgers have won seven. Oh, man, that's crazy. Okay, let's uh, take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Don't forget, we got Lou Whitaker coming back in five days. That's awesome. I'm so excited to have him back. The only uh, headline is Detroit wins 6-1 to one to take first place. Wait. Didn't we already have first place? Or was it a... Were we tied for first? Maybe that's what it was. All right, transactions, no trades. Oh, no. Jody Reed, oh, it's only two days. We traded Jody Reed to Cincinnati. And uh, he's going to miss a couple of games. Jim Morrison, he's in the road squirming like a toad for four days. And I've tried to come up with, I can't, my brain's not really working. I was trying to come up with like a Doors <laughs> so, lyric, something to do with injuries, but that's all I could come up with. I, my brain is sloshed. Uh, Chuck Rainey of the Twins has a wrist fracture, and he'll miss a month, but he'll be back. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button for me. That's a nice thing to do. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I appreciate that. Um, man, player of the game. I mean, Trammell did have two RBI. <laughs> we scored six runs, and one was on a double steal, and one was on uh, a balk. Or was it on an error? I can't remember that. Well, I guess it had to be an error, right? So there you have it. Jack Morris gets the win. He's 4-4. Four and four. A good performance. His ERA down to 367. John Denny gave up six runs. You can't expect a win giving up six runs. He's 6-11 and 11 on the year. And that will do it. We will come back tomorrow and start a brand new series. Until then, everyone, have a great day.